sir. Hello. What's your name? My name is Mamali Mantas. Okay, Mr. Malikantas. Okay, so as you mentioned uh, Python, okay, yes. in your resume. Yes. So I will ask some questions on Python. Yes. Okay. So are you ready? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Uh, tell me, since how long time you are learning Python? I'm started to my late in 2020 past year. After that, uh, I think IT sector is a IT sector has a good future in this time, so I I try to learn some languages. I think Python is a very simple to learn, mm -hmm. so I choose the Python. Mm -hmm. I choose this Python course. Mm -hmm. uh, before three so months, when you started learning, so since three months. Three months you started learning. Okay, right, good. So all the topics you have covered now. Yes. Right. Okay. So can you tell me, like you know, uh, people used to say Python is easy. Yes. Why Python is easy? So actually in Python, the, the way of way of forming sentence is simple, and understanding is also a simple process. Sir. And that we use less keywords in the Python. Uh, compared to C and Java, the keywords and syntax is very difficult to write the program, and understanding process also very difficult to understand. In Python is simple. Sir. So relatability is simple, that's why it is your feeling that it is easy. Yes. Okay. So what is interpreted language? Sir. What is interpreted language? So in the interpreted language means the program is interpreted by line by line. But in C and Java, the it is compiler language. Mm -hmm. It means it uh, it changed the source code to mission code in within a single step. Mm -hmm. So but Python? Python in Python, we use interpreter as a compiler. Mm -hmm. The interpreter changes uh, changes source code, source code to mission code by line by line. Okay. So good. Right. Uh, then, uh, what is high level language? High level language means user friendly language. So it is uh, easily understands. Okay. So what are the advantages of high level language? Okay. Right. So it seems you are. Uh, a uh, little thorough about the project, uh, sorry, uh, basics, that's yes. fine. So we'll move on a little, little involved into the Python, okay? Yes. Right. So what are the data types in Python? Yes, what are the data types in Python? Yes, sir. Uh, there are mainly seven data types are there, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, sorry, sir, ten data types. Okay. Number data type, mm -hmm. string data type, list data type, apple data type, and dictionary data type, mm -hmm. set data type, mm, frozen set data type, boolean data type and binary set data type okay all right so uh, what are sequential data types sequential data types string data type list data type and tuple data types are sequential data types okay what do you mean by fundamental data types arithmetic uh, data types and string data types are fundamental data types why they are called as fundamental data types so to write the minimum program we first we need the Automatic operators. Mm -hmm. So the number of data types and the string data types are first we need to require. Okay, right. So how to incorporate conditions in the programming? How we will put conditions in programming? Programming will be conditions mana metal apply this. By apply condition constructs. So what are the what are the condition constructs? If if else a if nested if sir. These are the conditional constructs we okay. use in this Python. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So do you have idea about the loops? Yes, sir. Okay. So what is the difference between for loop and while loop? Sir, in for loop we use we, if we know the range, then we use the for loop. Mm -hmm. But in while loop, if we don't know what the range we had to come, mm -hmm. then we use the for loop, the while loop. In while loop, we use initialization and uh, we give the increment also. Mm -hmm. But for loop, we don't give any initialization increment. Only we use a range function only. Okay. So good. So it seems you know, understanding of loops also. Right. Let us uh, go a little advanced. Okay. So uh, you have idea about the files in Python? Yes. Okay. So tell me what are the types of files according to Python? Sir, according to Python, mm, two types of files, sir. Text mm -hmm. files and binary files. Okay, what is the difference between a text file and binary file? Uh, sir, actually in uh, text files we use text, Im small images, numbers, 
these videos, audios, these are saved in text file format, sir. Mm -hmm. But in bi binary format, complex uh, videos, complex set of images, and uh, some of our graphic formats are used. Uh, okay. okay, that is fine. Uh, so, uh, text files and binary files, okay. So, do you know about basic file operations in Python? Yes. Can you tell me? The basic file operations are first we have to open the file mm -hmm. and then we read we read the information in the file mm -hmm. and we have to write any something in the file and to close the file. Okay, right. Yeah. So, uh, do you know how to open a file? Yes. Sir. Do you know what is the syntax for that? Yes. So, please write the syntax. So, you assume any file name, no problem. But you write a command to open a file. A file name and I'm going to make, no problem. Okay? No need to write function name and all. Ah, okay. okay. So you are using just syntax. Acha. Open. Open function is used, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, that's good. Right. Do it. So open. Then you take any file name, no problem. For example, you take one two three dot txt. Yes. Sir. Ah, write it. One two three. File name is one two three dot txt. Okay. Ah, then then what you have to write? Comma. File, you use mode, sir. File. Mode, acha, okay, right, okay. So you write mode. Okay. Yeah. So now can you tell me what that mode represents? That mode represents the, if we want to read the file, we use a read mode. Ah, so just write the modes, several modes, whatever you know. The KMA modes still, so just take a line. Read mode, okay, right. Uh, next, uh, no need to write. Just write R, that's it. R means read mode, right? Uh, next, any other mode, you know? Okay, R, B stands for what? And A, D? Read mode in binary functions. Achha, that is applicable for binary files. Okay, right, next. Uh, write mode, very good, nice. Next is? W plus, is there or W, R is there? Sir. Plus R, I think, right? Is it plus W or plus R? Sorry, sir. Uh, it is plus, plus R. R. Uh, what plus R indicates? Uh, we can read and edit uh, in the file, sir. Okay. So read and write you can do. Okay? Yes, sir. Both the things you can do. Uh, any other modes you know? Sorry. Okay. So write. Okay. So for example, I want to read information from the file. So now what you have to write there in your open function? In, in mode form, we change just R, sir. Uh, you change it, let us see. You can take a duster if you want. Yeah. Okay. The mode will be changed into R. R. So that means, okay, right. Okay, so how to close the file? Can you tell me how to close the file? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Just if we take a function name as A, hmm. A dot close function. Okay, directly it will close the file. So how to save the file? For example, I have yes, assumed sir. that uh, we have opened some file. So if we did something. So yes. how to save changes? If, if we close the file, the file will automatically save, sir. Are you sure about it? Uh, yes, sir. There is no uh, like you know save uh, command? No, sir. There is no command to save, sir. Okay. So once you close the file, by default it will be saved. Save. Right? That is what. Okay. So thank you. Can please come and sit yes. Do you have an uh, uh, idea about the errors? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what are the types of errors in Python? So in Python, there are seven, seven or eight types of errors. Okay. Zero digit error, mm -hmm. name error, mm -hmm. indexing error, mm -hmm. syntax error, mm -hmm. input and output error. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Key error. Ah, yes. Error. Okay. Key error. Okay. Right. So when you will get a zero division error? In, in programming, in the the program execution. The, in the program execution, the denominator becomes zero. It shows the zero division errors. Okay, so whenever you perform a division, if denominator goes zero, yes, sir. then you can. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me what is the statement we use uh, to handle the exceptions, to raise the exceptions? Try statements. Sir. Try and accept. Try and accept statement. Accept statement. So, can I use multiple accept statement with single try statement? Yes, sir. Uh, can I use multiple exceptions using one except statement? No, sir. I think, I think we can use it.
Okay, so multiple exceptions also we can handle with the except statement. Okay, right, that is fine. Okay, so um, you know about Hoops concept? Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. so Python permits to use Hoops concepts or not? Yes, sir. It supports now. Yes, Are you sure about it? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. very good, right. So, what is the difference between uh, general way of writing the programming and object oriented programming? So, in general way of programming, mostly we depend on the logic, logic of the program. Okay. But in object oriented programming, we use object as a logic. A logic. Okay, so objects play a vital role. Yes. What is class? Class means group of objects with the same behavior. Okay, that is called as a class. class. So, for example, uh, let us take the students, okay? Yes. In a class, there are students are there. So, students with different, different maybe numbers or whatever it is. So, is it possible, can I can I uh, create a class uh, like a one one section, maybe with section name? Yes. So, where the students are object, is it possible? Yes, sir. Okay. So, maximum, how many elements, how many objects can I add in a class? Any number of uh, objects can we can add. Are you sure? Yes. It will handle any number of elements with same so behavior. Hand, yeah, that's what. If they are having similar behavior, then we can hand any number of elements. Okay. So, uh, right. Okay. Mm. Do you know about constructor in Python? Ah, uh, yes, sir. What is a constructor? In this? Init constructors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can you write the syntax of init constructor? Okay. So, is there any default parameter? Yes, sir. What is that? Self parameter. Self. Where you write self? Um, you write it now. Okay. So, uh, for example, whenever I am writing a program, uh, I want to use S in place of self. Yes, sir. Will it work or not? No, sir. After self, self parameter, we can use any arguments. Uh, that is okay. Uh, instead of writing self, I will use S. Will it permits or not? Okay. I don't know. Right. Okay. No problem. No problem. You can come and sit here. Yeah? No issue. Right. Okay. So, do you know about the functions? Yes. Sir. So, what is method in Python? Method. Method. Method is a group of functions we can use in this call methods. Method. So, where you find methods? Where you write methods? Methods are nothing but functions. That is true. But where you use methods? In object oriented programming, we use methods. Yes, sir. Okay? We can, so, yes, sir. Okay. Alright, Manikanta, thank you. Uh, so, we'll get back to you soon, okay?